What's going on, family? It's your boy Rev. Lit House, Fat House, Gang Gang, Gang, Gang. gang. Gang, shout out to everybody for the love, the recent love on the channel. We've been going up and up, crazy. Is Steve Clifford going to have to smack? We're looking at Steve Clifford's post-practice press conference from practice two yesterday. And he done had enough of Charlotte media's bullshit when it comes to LaMelo. Let's get into the footage. We'll break what it down. What are you seeing that he can do? I, I want to preface it. The, the question was, the question was asked in a way of what does he have to yeah. do? It's not a big deal. It, it's, if you had to say one thing, that's what I would say. Yo, Steve on it early. He ain't taking no time out to play with y'all, bro. He like, look, bro. I'm about tired. Let me be his anger translator. And once again, when you pull up, it's very important. Y'all hit the like button, share the video, like the video. You must subscribe to the channel, bro. These coaches speaks are going crazy. Uh, like, like these videos have been going crazy. Help us push through the algorithm. Hit that sub button. Become a part of the Lit House family, the Lit House gang. And don't forget, we have a special game stream uh, starting for the preseason this Sunday, going all the way over to Wednesday and beyond this uh, throughout the season. But you got to do certain things to really get the exclusives when it comes to the game streams that nobody can duplicate. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe. Look, dog. Steve Clifford from Jump is like, why do y'all keep asking me about this damn free throw line question, bro? It's not that deep. Like, it's like y'all are looking for a way to tear this man down. It's like y'all looking for a way to drive a wedge between me and LaMelo Ball. And, and the whole reason I'm here is for LaMelo Ball. So I'm not about to let y'all hijack the narrative and make it like I have an issue with LaMelo, LaMelo scoring or I have an issue with LaMelo's uh, getting to the free throw line. He's like, yo, y'all asked me something, so I just gave y'all something, bro. And by the way, this is how you coach the, the best players in the league. Listen to what he says about LaMelo being an elite player in the league and how you coach an elite guy in the league. People will read it. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying is that's how you that's how you coach all of these guys. I mean it's it's not like yeah, no, it's it's not a story. It's that's how you coach NBA players. You meet with them, you give them the three, four things you work with. Now, look, I'm not a mind reader, but they're gonna start saying Coach Steve has got damn uh, lit house. That's what they're going to start saying, bro, because we're echoing the same talking points. Flashback and rewind to this point yesterday where I said in this very studio uh, on, on another video breaking down Coach Steve Clifford's words that as much credit as I want to give Steve Clifford is only so much I can give him because one, the regular season hasn't started. They haven't gone on any losing streaks. So you know, everybody's cool right now. Everybody's good right now. Boss is at the end of this press conference. Um, Steve doesn't seem irritated, but what does, he have, what does he have to be irritated about? They haven't started playing yet. They haven't gone on any losing streak, so I can only give them so much credit for that. Especially with these guys, is see me in six weeks. You know what I mean? We're not going to come in here in two days, and everybody's happy now. Nobody's not sitting on the bench. Nobody's agent is telling them you're not getting enough shots. And we haven't had a three-game losing streak. You know, so I'm not shirking the question, but some of these things, it's just going to play out. I swear Steve Clifford is hitting all the notes. He's hitting all the, all the right notes. This man is Eddie Kane off the cane on five heartbeats. Is there a hole? Is there a hole in the house tonight? Like he's hitting every note that he's supposed to hit as a new head coach. Everything that we wanted James Borrego to do that he would never do, Steve Clifford is knocking it out of the park, man. He even goes on to tell Rob Boone he had to check Rob Boone, bro. Like, he had to check Rob Boone like, damn, uh, is LaMelo not an all-star, bro? Like, isn't he one of the youngest all-stars at 20 last year? Check this it's out. It's not man. like this. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah we're, we're, yeah, we're doing that with every player on different things. It's not like, I mean, he's an all-star at, at 20 years old. A lot of it is you work on everything. The question was posed in a way, what's he going to do? That's one of the things that he can do. It's not like it's this 
area of weakness that, you know what I mean? It's just, I just threw it out there. So, I mean, what he's doing with that, we got other guys working with the same guy. So it was, it's not some big deal. No, it wasn't a bad thing. Just like the average I know it's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm just right. explaining to you that right, right, that's the way you coach every guy. Right. They got three, four things. That was one of his three, four things. But what, did, what are you seeing it like? Was there certain things like when he's moving to the hole that you... I mean, I'm not going to share that with you guys. Oh, okay. I mean, no, but I know. See, the real issue is this. The reason why coach Steve Clifford is having to go so hard is because Charlotte Media is a talking point or a voice of the org. Shout out to my brother Barchi, the Blue Flame. He talks about this all the time. They are basically extensions of the org. So for the last two years, they've been used to gaslighting LaMelo. Whenever LaMelo would accomplish something, they would come up with a reason why he needed to do more or what. When somebody talks about how good he is in something, they would spend time talking about what he doesn't do good. If he had a game with 38 points, they would talk about how he had 1.5 turnovers or something. Like, 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 they would always find a way to gaslight him. They're not used to having a head coach that is talking up LaMelo. I mean, it's a new day in Charlotte. They're not used to to having a head coach comparing LaMelo to Luca and Trey. And for all the lames in my comment, that comments that are up here talking about, oh, well, uh, Luca is much better than LaMelo. Come on now. Look, dog. I take George Carl's opinion over you. Matter of fact, let's look and see what George Carl had to say. I take Coach Steve Clifford's opinion over you. I mean, bro, if guys that have coached Hall of Fame level talent and are Hall of Famers themselves are pulling up to Charlotte to watch LaMelo practice, Roy Williams was in the building yesterday. George Carl was in the building yesterday. Several college coaches and scouts were in the building yesterday. Bro, y'all in the comment section, I respect the opinion of the people, but don't try to make it seem like it, it, it is so far out there. If they're saying it, these are the people that you formulated a lot of your opinions from. Now you're going to argue with them because they're saying LaMelo is a transcendent talent? This is why Charlotte Media is struggling right now. This is why Steve Clifford is looking like, bro, why do y'all keep asking me these questions? I said what I said. I'm not going to change what I said. Like, bro, come on, man. The man said what he said. If the man says that Muhammad Ali, look, man, if the man says that LaMelo Ball is not that far from being Luka Doncic. That's what he said. That's it. You had mentioned uh, a couple of days ago, we get there about uh, Luka practice and knowing the guys after the practices. How do you feel now, like in terms of stopping flow and getting back on defense? What about that and how you feel about things coming yeah, out? I think it'll be, I think it'll take a while. You know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I think that effort. And you're not going to be able to get away with gaslighting him in a contract year. You can't go from, okay, he can't do anything to a coach saying, okay, it's only one thing he needs to do. And now you got all of these mass grande, uh, you got, you know what I'm saying? You got all of these gorilla, because now you want to follow up and ask questions. You would never follow up and ask James Morego questions. You never follow up and ask Mitch Kupchak questions like, why do you make a move with this horrible roster? You never do it then, so why are you doing it now when the coach is up there bigging up his best player? Why is it so hard for y'all to wrap your mind around that if LaMelo gets to the line, then he's going to take a bigger jump? Why is that so hard? Do you want him to come in there and say, well, LaMelo needs to work on this, and LaMelo needs to work on that, and LaMelo's just a trash player? Y'all will follow up with no questions then. Y'all will love them answers. But it's a new day in Charlotte. And speaking of Charlotte, if you want to be at the games with Rev and sit courtside with Rev, you got to become a Lit House member. Make sure you become a Lit House member today so that you can get those special perks to win an opportunity to sit courtside with Rev, man. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. That night was crazy. Goddamn. Um, we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for pulling up in the house of the lit. But y'all comment, man. Y'all let me know. Is Charlotte Hornets Media doing too much? 
Are they doing too much? And I really need to know from y'all in the comment section. I keep asking because sometimes the organization pulls up and they use these comments as litmus tests. Are y'all feeling Steve Clifford? Are y'all not feeling Steve Clifford? Are y'all rocking with what he's saying uh, so far to this point? Like, the, are, are y'all are y'all liking the direction he's taking his team? Are y'all liking the direction that he is taking uh, with Lamelo Ball as far as uplifting Lamelo's strengths? And, and when it comes to his uh, weaknesses, marginalizing and minimizing the weaknesses. Y'all let us know. Are you rocking with Steve Clifford? Yo, shout out to everybody. We're, we're on a path to 10K subs. We're on a path to 10K subs during the season. Y'all help us get there right now by sharing this video, liking this video, and subscribing to the channel. We will be back tonight with another stream. And I got some more video footage dropping today, some special footage. I appreciate y'all. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the entire New Media Nation, Brother Varsha the Wu Flame, uh, Unoriginal FC. Um, my twin self-made Sicario, Vegas baby KJ on Twitch, and my brother Malik Salam. We only going up and the up. Share the video, like the video, subscribe. Let us know what you think about Steve Clifford and his comments that LaMelo's an all-star, baby. Like, stop trying to marginalize this kid. He's an all-star. The sky's the limits. Wasn't he the youngest all-star ride? Share the video, like the video, subscribe. We love y'all, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bitches, cause I bought them, mean I play them wrong. Yeah. I hop off the jet and count a hundred dollars. If it ain't money, what you talking about? Yeah. Stay out of my bitch. That's California's fucking dream.